Hey, welcome to Tech Tuesday. I'm excited for this topic. It's all about Thrive Connect, the app. So I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to set up Thrive Connect for yourself, how to customize it, some ideas of ways you can use this app that you may not know about yet, some tips, some tricks, and some real behind the scenes walkthroughs to show you how I personally use the app to grow my Lavelle business. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is obviously download the app. If you don't have it already, go to your app store and download the Thrive Connect app. Here's a screenshot of what that looks like in your app store. So you're going to want to go ahead and download that and obviously open the app. The reasons why I love the app is because honestly, there are just so many things you can do with it. You can send text messages. You'll also get notified and I'll show you how to do that when people actually not only open your text, but also go back and revisit whatever it is that you sent to them. You can email a contact. You can actually create your own custom landing pages. So you can do all kinds of creative things in there. And I'll give you some ideas of how I personally use that as well. Of course, you can use the app to share on social media. You can also access the resources and the trainings that Lavelle provides for us, including different promos, contests, giveaways, and updates from the company. There are so many different things that you can do with this app. So the first thing you're going to do is gain access. So in addition to downloading the app onto your device, you're going to want to log into your cloud office. If you are an active and qualified promoter, you're going to see a link to go access the Thrive Connect app in step one of your getting started steps in your back office on the home screen of your cloud. Make sure in order to get the magic link that's going to be sent to you, make sure to go into your edit profile settings in your cloud office and make sure that your phone number is accurate and that you're opted in to receive SMS text messages as well as emails from the company. When you click that button here that I've got on the screen, you're going to receive a text message that's going to say you're going to have this magic link. When you click on the magic link, it'll say that your request has been confirmed and it will actually give you access to your app. So just follow the prompts to click on and enable your app access through your magic link. Now, once you're in the app, this is where it gets exciting. First of all, I really suggest that you go through and you customize the menu of your home screen of the app so you can actually decide how it looks for you. So on this screen, you'll see that I'm showing you, you can toggle on and off certain menu sections, and you can also put your finger on the three lines and move sections up or down, depending on how you want the app to look. For example, I have the My Tools section as the very first thing that I see in my app, because those are the things that I use the most. You can toggle off the things that you use the least. So you can truly make this app yours. And here, the next thing you want to do is you want to go in there and sync your device contacts. So obviously, if you're using the app like I do, and you want to text message some of your contacts, you'll want to sync contacts. I personally have all of my contacts synced so that if I add somebody as a contact to my phone, it's automatically going to appear as a contact into my Thrive Connect app as well. For me, it just makes life easier. Then what you can go do is you can actually create your own landing pages. This is one of my favorite features of the app. Honestly, it's one of the things I use the most in addition to the text messages. So here as just an example, I'm using the ultimate thriver challenge as an example, but honestly, we do all kinds of fun stuff at Lavelle. So you can use this for anything, get creative. Basically what you can do is any picture in your camera roll or video in your camera roll, and I'll show you that here in just a few minutes, you can actually add the new media to your image there. So you can go into my tools, add new media, select the type of media. In this example, it's a picture. Select it from your gallery, which is your photo album on your phone. If it's a picture or a video, if it's a video on your phone, tap it to upload it, edit the thumbnail to resize it, edit the title and the description of it, and then save. And then look what happens when you do this. You're going to literally have your own custom landing page already created. This is what people are going to see when you text them the link to this page. So what I would recommend is to send a text message to yourself with this page first. 
click on it to see what they see from their perspective. And obviously, then you can go in there and edit the page to make any adjustments that you feel is necessary. How to share it with somebody so you can see it? This is how. Go into your tools section. So you go to where your home screen is again and go to my tools. And then you're going to click on the landing page that you just created. This is your media that you just created. Hit the green share button, and then you're going to see where you have some options of where you want to send it to. You can either share it on social media, or what I do the most is I send it directly to a contact. So you can select send to a contact, um, or you can click the uh, non-trackable link, which is the copy link, and it'll make a non-trackable link. It'll set it to your clipboard. What non-trackable basically means is it'll create a link to this landing page, but you won't get notified when somebody clicks on it because it's not tied to a specific contact. So you could use that in your stories or in an email or things like that. So you're going to select however you want to send it to someone by sharing it send it to a contact. In this example, I'm sending it to myself. So send to a contact and then choose your contact. Obviously the contact is somebody that needs to be in your phone. So you've already synced your contact. So if you have them in your phone and your contacts are synced, that person will appear here. So you would just simply tap on their contact information and then select their phone number or their email address is the method that you wanna send them the contact or the page to, right? So all you wanna do is in this example, I selected my phone number and then I hit the green button that says next. Then it's gonna prompt you to add a description or a message. So you'll want to just write your message and that's actually gonna be the verbiage that will be sent along with the link in the text message that you send to them. So as soon as you upload the description, you can see that when you click confirm and then send that text, whatever you just wrote in the description is what's gonna appear in the message of your text. You can always edit this before you hit send. So if what you've written in the description doesn't make sense for the person that you're sending it to, just go back there and edit. You can also add their first name to it, which is what I highly recommend to make it even more personal. Okay, this is what happens when somebody gets that text. Look, you're gonna, when you send that text message and they actually open it and then they reopen it again, you're gonna be doing this happy dance like this guy here. So you're gonna get notified. It's gonna email you, it's gonna text message you saying, Laura Wells has viewed your landing page. And then one of them has actually viewed your site. One of them has viewed the image. You're gonna get this over and over and over. It is very fun and you will be in fact dancing like this guy. So then another way you can do this is again, using the same method, you can actually upload videos as well and create landing pages with your own personal videos on them. So here's just a couple of examples of how I personally use the app for sharing my own personal videos. The one on the far left is a video that I created using Instagram stories, which I'll tell you guys how to do on another Tech Tuesday training. But basically I just recorded a video, a little 60 second video. I put captions on it and then I downloaded it to my camera roll. I upload that video from my phone's camera roll right into the Thrive Connect app. And you can do this for anything. The one on the left is my personal Thrive Experience story in 60 seconds. The one in the middle is explaining how a sample pack works. So when somebody gets their sample pack, I'm basically walking them through what's in the box and what how to use their sample pack. The third video that I'm showing here is welcoming them to the Thrive Experience and walking them through how to begin their Thrive Experience, including putting their capsules on their nightstand and other helpful information. So you can do all kinds of things with this feature of creating your own landing page like this. Another thing that I do is I send out a text message to my customers whenever they order or reorder. So you can just make your own little thank you card. But look, this is what's really cool and why I really love this app is that when somebody clicks on this, of course they're gonna see your thank you card and make it personal, right? Make it you. But also it's kind of like a subtle way of marketing where underneath that thank you card is the little green buttons that say order, join, or request more information. Those green buttons, this whole entire landing page is also cookied to you. So if they open your thank you card or your video or your photo, when they open that on their phone, 
now they've it's basically like they're visiting your lavelle.com website they've got a cookie now on their device so their device is going to remember that hey the last person's page that you were on is your page it's going to be tied to you your username dot thrive connect dot app is at the top there so it's it's really really a cool way of giving information and following up and doing all kinds of stuff to you know get information into people's hands, but also a subtle way of bringing them back to your website where they potentially may click one of those green buttons to place another order or to request information, become a promoter and so forth. Okay, this is a really popular way to use this app. You can create your own digital business cards. I'm telling you, if you get creative, you could do a lot of things with this app. So one of the very first things that I did when this app came about is I created my own digital business card. It's just simply an image. You don't have to overthink this. It's an image that I created mine in Canva. You can also use the template that the company has already designed for you. And in fact, you can find that in the resources section under the business tools and training section of the app. So you can just go right to the app and go under the business tools and training section and find the digital business card templates. They've already created it. You just have to put in your information and your photo. It's very easy. There's a step-by-step -step walkthrough. It's really well done. And they look really similar to this. So how I use this when I'm out and about is let's just say you're at a sporting event. OK, those of y'all who are parents and you live like on the baseball fields, for example, and you're having a conversation and somebody says, well, what's that DFT? And you talk a, li a little bit about it and you share your story and you say, you know what? I'd love to chat more. I'd love to chat more when we have some time. Send me a quick text. Here's my cell phone number so I can add you to my contacts. You have them text you and then you say, awesome, I'm going to text you my card so that you'll have my info, too. I mean, here's the deal. I'm not necessarily saying not to buy paper business cards, but what I am saying is that now you're always gonna have a digital business card on hand and they are free. And in my opinion, they're much more effective when you do them like this. So you can simply have your business card in your Thrive Connect app, text it using the exact same method that we shared to text any other landing page that we just created here using the My Tools feature, but the image that we've uploaded is our business card. And so you're able to share it by text and you can text it right to them. Of course, you're gonna see that it's gonna say whatever you know the description is of, you know, hey, it was nice to meet you, text them the card. And what's really cool is that you remember the dancing guy well, every single time that person comes back and revisits your business card, you're going to be doing a happy dance of joy because that means that person is actually thinking of you and that conversation and looking up your information. So it's kind of really neat where you can maybe, you know, go engage with their posts on social media, go follow up with them, send them a reach out and that sort of thing. Here's some more tips on subtle marketing and a real example of what I did for my VIP customers. Customers, um, personally, I'm an auto elite auto bonus earner. And so uh, one of the ways that I have really strong customer retention is I send gifts and little goodies to my VIP auto ship customers. Just as a little way of saying thank you. It's nothing crazy, but I do put together little gifts when people thrive with me for a majority of the year. And so one year I actually put together a little goodie bag here, as you can see in the photo to the left, and I actually made a word search. <laughs> I made a word search using a free word search tool. You can go Google that, it's really easy. Um, and I just put all kinds of like Thrive related words in the word search. I printed it out um, on little five by seven cardstock. And I actually put the answer key as a QR code. You can do this right in Canva, by the way. It's very easy. It's it's all done right there for you. Um, but so I used Canva and I made the answer key in Canva, okay, and made the QR code in Canva. But guess what? When they scan the answer key on their paper, okay, with their with their cell phone, they take a picture and scan the a QR code to access the answer key. Guess where it took them? It took them to the Thrive Connect app to get the answers. So my gift was great, but it had just a teeny tiny little bit of subtle marketing so that when they scan the QR code, it takes them right to my Thrive Connect app to get the answers. And of course, everybody wants the answers, but also it's just those little green buttons that say, hey, you know, maybe you want to place an order. This is super convenient to click this button right here and so on. So 
it was actually really neat too because the people who were in my contacts who did click that QR code and did answer the or get access to the answer key, I got notified all day and all night every time someone did that. So I knew that they were on my website getting the answer to the little gift and all of that. Now, again, like, listen, I do a lot of social media training and my biggest thing is don't make this weird. Okay. Don't be like creepy. It'd be like, I saw that you were on my website and I saw that you were, you know, don't make it creep because they don't know that you saw this. Right. But you can use this as just some insider information of like, okay, they're on your website. Maybe this is a really great time to be front of mind. Maybe this is a good time to go comment or to engage on something that they've done. Maybe this is a good time to, you know, in this situation where it was Christmas related, wish them Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, right? So it just kind of gives you like a little bit of a heads up, almost like you've got like a virtual assistant going on here. Here's another way that I use the Thrive Connect app in my email. So I am a copywriter by trade and I do a lot of emailing, email marketing and email nurturing customer sequences. I've done this for a very long time for large brands and for emails. One of the things that I feel like makes email marketing very, very helpful is to make emails real and relatable and like it's actually your voice. So a lot of my emails are really funny <laughs> and they get open because the subject lines are really funny. So this one was one in particular that I did for St. Patrick's Day and the subject line says only lucky people get an email today from a redhead. <laughs> so I'm basically calling myself a leprechaun. It's fine. So in my email though, I give them value. I give them recipes. I give them quick tips, not necessarily selling Thrive sales, promos, you know, things like that. I really truly just want them to open emails and look forward to my emails to get value from it, right? Either a recipe, something humorous, uh, a short story, anything like that. It's a really great way to connect. So what I did in this particular email is I created a little recipe here. I tweaked it to Thriveify it a little bit. Um, by adding some shake mix to it and so forth. And then in the links in the emails there, you can see the hyperlinks actually lead to the recipe right there on the landing page that I've created in the Thrive Connect app. So I uploaded the photo in my My Tools section of the recipe itself, put the recipe instructions in the description of my landing page. And so when they click to get the recipe online, for example, if they're using it like right there in their kitchen on their phone, then they of course have the recipe at their fingertips, but they also have those really wonderful green buttons to give them some subtle marketing of maybe you wanna click this and check out what's new when the Thrive product line. So another thing that I really love about this app is the the feed okay the feed is like a gold mine this is where you're gonna be able to see what's going on with your app and the efforts that you've created it's going to tell you who clicked on what who revisited how much time they spent watching a specific video but here's a little unknown feature that a lot of people have no clue about do you see in the video how I'm showing you where I'm swiping each one of these reminders? Okay, when you toggle at the very top, you're gonna see a toggle button where it says actions, and that's basically just what's going on, okay, from, from your efforts in your app. And there's also a toggle called reminders. When you see an action that you wanna follow up with, for example, one of your customers watched 50% of a video that you sent them or one of your leads clicked on something, but maybe they haven't ordered yet. You can actually swipe and just pull that action just like I'm doing here and it will turn that green. It'll put a little green button, okay, on the left-hand corner. Now, when you go into the reminders section, it's like having a virtual assistant. It tells you, okay, you need to follow up with this person. Go reach out to this person. So you've got basically right there at your fingertips who to follow up with, what to do. You can set all kinds of reminders for yourself. It is amazing. <laughs> and really cool is when you tap that person, let's say if I tap on Joni's reminder, it's actually going to bring up her contact information. 
right? So if you tap that, it literally shows the cell phone number, the email address of that contact. So it's really just one, two, three, tap, tap, tap. And now you're able to text them, call them or whatever. It is so helpful. This app is seriously amazing. The more buttons you push on this app, the more things you're gonna discover. It is so neat. Okay, so here's my thing. How will you use this app? What are you going to do? You can answer questions. So if you, and really what I would do is I would create a note section in your phone. So when you start getting, you know, frequently asked questions, people ask you these questions all the time. And you're like, I'm always answering the same question. What is Thrive? What's Thrive done for you? How do I lose weight with Thrive? What DFT do you recommend? All those kinds of questions that you get often that you want to answer for people in a personal way. However, you're able to do it in a way where you're, answering something over and over and over, but in a way that makes it feel personal, but you're not having to spend time answering it every single time. So you can create images and videos and landing pages to answer frequently asked questions, okay? You can also copy the links and you can send them in Messenger. You can use those links in your images and emails and stories like I just showed you. You could also add these to your email signatures. So you could even make your business card your email signature. You can get so creative. You can use this as your pocket vault. So if there are tools or resources or PDFs or photos or support tickets or anything like that, you can load all of those things into your My Tools section under the media and have those things at your fingertips and literally create yourself a vault. It is seriously so cool. One thing I want to say as I wrap this up is that you do not need a ton of tech skills to use this to grow your business. You don't. Technology is always improving. There's always going to be new features, new buttons. This app is constantly improving. They're always adding new things, new features and all that. What you do need to do is just have that entrepreneurial spirit where you're willing to go in there and try things, practice, push buttons. You won't break it. Go in there and push those buttons, upload something, send it to yourself or, or as a little tip, ask one of your friends who maybe isn't thriving yet. If you can text them some text them something just to tr test it out, just to try it, maybe you text them a 60 second video of your personal Thrive experience and text that to them and say, would you watch this just to 60 seconds? Just watch this and see if it plays and let me know your thoughts. Maybe click one of those green buttons and see what it does. It would really help me out if you would help me test this new app. Maybe text that to somebody who's not thriving yet and you never know what'll happen. The bottom line is, is anytime you use technology, if you use it with a personal touch, yes, it's high tech, but when you use it with a personal touch, you'll go really far and you'll continue to learn. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this edition of Tech Tuesday, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye y'all.